Hello, everyone. Hope you guys are all doing awesome today. And if you're not feeling awesome and great, I hope you know how to shift that energy around and make make yourself feel better for your good. And uh, whether you're dancing or stretching or trying to put a more positive thought on things or just telling yourself, you know what, everything will work out. It's all in divine time and hands. And sure enough, within a day or two, what you thought was probably uh, the biggest disaster will work itself out every time, every time. And I just want you all to know I love you. And I'm grateful for all the new subscribers, your likes, your shares, your comments, your goodwill towards me. I appreciate that so much, your support. I love you. And I want you to know that the creator of creations loves you as well because you are a part of his creation. And that's what this is all about, getting to know ourselves better, learning from each other, and, um, you know, kind of like having this tribe to where we all kind of feel the same way and are thinking the same thoughts. And so we get into this collective of many, many energies and and working from there is a beautiful thing as we all learn and grow together around the world because God doesn't pick and choose some and leave others out. That would be a horrible, horrible family way to live life. And since at this time we're ascending above the animal nature into something that's not quite animal, but, you know, more regal, more more standing with integrity, you know, and still being a part of the animal world and the animal kingdom. Basically, we are working our way to be fully spiritual, fully, fully godlike in the flesh. And we're here to watch over this precious planet, right? Yeah. And we understand our animal nature and we overcome our animal nature that we can live in the higher dimensions of this universe. And it's not easy. It takes work on oneself. You literally have to, you know, go into your own world deep and look at what you believe and what you don't believe. And what have you integrated that felt right to your heart? And that doesn't mean going into your mind. Because your body is an entity, and your heart's an entity, and your mind's an entity. And your lungs. Everything works separately. So, you know, and they all go with the chakra system. Let's just go there. Every chakra system releases a higher level energy or entity when you begin to clean out the energies of others that are within your system. And you become an independent individual just full of your own beautiful, glorious energy. And it feels good. And everybody should practice uh, cleansing their chakras of all energies. You know, you watch TV, you take in energy. You listen to the news, you take in energy. You, you, you scan the newspapers, you take in energy. You think negative things and you take in energy. It's energy. So if you want to have a better day, you find things that have better energies and start putting them into your life. Uh, music is a good way, you know, and I'm talking about harmonic musics, um, you know, um, crystals, which are perfectly formed and geometrically shaped and stuff. And these crystals are so balanced and harmonic that when you take them into your energy, they help you to find that balance as well and you know we are what we believe yeah if you think you are then that's what you are <laughs> so if you think you're happy and you got the opportunity to be happy then you will find something that will make you happy and if you're not happy and you just sit there and be not happy then well not no change you'll just be unhappy so what's that I don't know where we're going, but we're using the Gaia deck today. And um, um, 
we're going to do the battle of the sexes. And, you know, yesterday I didn't complete that thing. You know, the women brainwave goes like this, and the man brainwave goes straight up. And remember I was talking yesterday that we have to connect somewhere, you know, right there at the perfect place in order to make connections and stuff like that with the opposite sex. Otherwise, it's kind of a superficial thing. If there's no connection, then it's just basically based on superficial things, and nobody wants a superficial relationship. Relationships need depth, like to see, you know? Depth, what am I talking about? Talk about things that matter. Talk about things that, you know, you know, I don't know. People who are intimate know. They know what I'm talking about. You know, I don't know. Everybody's different. Everybody needs something different when it comes to intimacy and depth, you know. Me, I take, it takes me a long time to process, and that's because I do have a lot of depth. So it might take me two or three days to process something and know how it makes me feel because I don't go off of what I think. I go off of how I feel. And in order, and it's all about perception for me, how do I see this and how do I see it unfolding? So with that being said, let's see what's going on with the difference between the male and female, how much they're learning from each other, and uh, what the connections are, you know, bringing out in us. And with that, we're going with the Divine Masculine. And I'm going to just go ahead and pull a few cards out here and lay down the Divine Feminine. And then I'm going to go down here very carefully. And this card wants to come out, so we're going to lay that there. And then we're going to put these over here. Yeah. And here we go. We're going to turn over Divine Masculine and see how it's going. Ooh, abundant. Abundance. Card 15. Six is balance. Big old spirit. Spiritual fires burning. That is awesome. That's what the representation of the dragon is. It's your spirit. The fire within. You know, this is this is a root chakra, a sacral chakra and a solar plexus chakra all lit up, but especially the sacral because of this dragon. Dragons are sacred. You know, they they have a deeper meaning than, you know, let me see if I can put this right. Dragons are protection. Dragons have ancient knowledge and wisdom that they bring to their protégés, this is what I want to say, or their initiates. So, Divine Masculine, somewhere, even though this is a feminine card, we're reading for the Divine Masculine. So, there's a dragon somewhere watching over somebody. as they are exploring their abundance and the fruits in their world. As you can see, she's looking over her abundance, the fruits and the land. So somebody, a divine masculine, is literally feeling high passion and desire for their abundance to find within themselves this this life, this beautiful, protected, generous, abundant, romantic life. I mean, this just looks being at peace. And 
and I can't see what she's got in her hand. I need a magnifying glass, guys. But it's just the energy of being at peace and abundant, and knowing one has everything they need, including protection. That's beautiful. Okay. So, what has brought this about? Divine child. A chosen one. I just had to go there. This divine masculine is a chosen one. And because we're reading for the masculine, even if it is a divine feminine, maybe being in his divine feminine state. What's this card telling us? The energy. Gaia, Mother, Empress, Love, Motherly, a Divine Masculine feeling motherly, not matter with that, in the Divine Feminine energies. Some, a Divine Masculine is balancing out his Divine Feminine. Righteous. Getting in touch with his gentle side, the loving side, the kind side, the abundant side, the giving side, the good side. Gaia, Empress, impressive. Impressive. We can learn so much about, you know, through our mother. Ooh, sun, shining like the sun. Happy. Divine masculine. And that's the that's the opposite. So balancing the divine male and the divine feminine. Mother Earth and the Sun. Gaia, the Empress. Shining. Shining, shining divine masculine. This is wonderful. The last couple of days, the last few days, well, for a while, the divine masculine has really been struggling to find love for himself because, you know, if you don't find the love within yourself, you won't have no love to give to anyone else. It's all pretty superficial. To be authentic, you have to really um, love who you are and and what you're doing and why you're doing it, and um, and you start right from where you realize this. It doesn't matter, and just appreciate what you've been through, and, and know that you know God sees you. You're seen. You're seen by the spirits. You're seen by your ancestors, um, nothing is ever done in the dark that isn't brought to the light. And right here, we're seeing we got some divine masculines with the sun shining on their beauty as they balance out their divine feminine with their divine masculine. Working on themselves, worked on past traumas, you know, loving themselves for who they are, what they've been through, taking accountability. This is all that. This is all that. And now it's rest time. Taking some, going to rest while thinking on a few dreams maybe. Those scrolls could represent stories, dreams written down, hopes for the future in the mind. Ground them. Take your hopes, your dreams, and your futures and wrap it up into a little seed that you see right here. You'll see this little seed and 
push that seed down to every chakra that you have and see it going through all those electric centers and then push it down through your legs, out through your feet and plant it into the earth and then visit it every day with love by loving yourself and aligning your chakras and watering that seed that's in the earth and see, see if it don't grow. Those dreams that you take with you to your to your rest, when you rest and you're thinking, you can plant those seeds into the earth and water them with love and they will grow. Love and action. <laughs> Merlin says you can make it happen. Merlin says take a chance on the metaphysical world and joining it with your world. Believe in something. If you don't believe in nothing, then find something to believe in. But you can believe this. If you take your seeds and you have faith enough to plant them in the earth in your imagination in your spiritual world and run them through your energy centers and put your identification on them and then you plant them into this planet and you water it with love by meditating on it a minute a day as you cleanse your chakras going down and you know finding your seed your idea work for me you know work for me and that's magic man making magic happen earth magic like the fairies <laughs> I don't like to say gods I, I see myself as down here with everybody else on this land on this ground yeah, on this planet, this beautiful, beautiful orb where we can come and step out of the metaphysical into a body and have experiences and have stories to tell when we head back over to the other side. That's magic too. Leaving trees, legacies behind. My masculine, you're going to make it happen. You're going to bring your dreams true. I'm so proud of you. We need good, honorable men to stand up and make magic happen. Men who believe in equality all the way around. Men who dream of peace. Men who dream of loving families who have integrity, who walk in truth who understand what humanity means. Merlin understood what humanity meant. He didn't want to be the king. Who would want to be the king? Holy smokes. You're under everybody's eye. It's best to be somewhere in the back. Yeah. Where nobody sees you. That's the best place to be. And that's kind of where Merlin was, huh? Nobody paid attention to Merlin. He was just a foolish magic man. But he was the main character. He was zero possibilities. See? That's the main character. Looks like a fool. But he's really the magician once he goes full circle. zero probabilities. I said possibilities. What it means that anything can happen. You can pull anything out of the zero and you can make any combination. You can crack the code. Now I don't know all that science language. Don't matter to me. I know what I know. And I learned it all through the power of the Holy Spirit. For 10 years, I haven't been able to carry books and stuff like that. Actually, been too busy trying to feel my way through. 
And sometimes, you know, it's best to follow your heart. Get out of that head. Know too much shit and you don't know what to do with it. You know, you got to ground it in something to make it probable. The Watcher, Queen of Water. Intuition, using your intuition at your heart and your third eye, not your brain. Yeah, sometimes you gotta let the mind go and just sit back and feel. She's a part of that tree. Her and that tree are one and the same. I told you, you're walking, talking metaphysical plants. <laughs> so start working out of your heart, Divine Masculine, which this looks like you are. And you're feeling, and that's the Divine Feminine part, feeling. See the owl in the tree, getting wiser, feeling wiser, looking wiser. And understanding the other side of the coin. Because how, how will you know what other people go through if you don't put yourself in their shoes? You got to be who they are. You got to know where they've been. That brings an intimate connection right there, you know, with others. But first, you want to find the intimate connection to yourself. Where have you been? Who are you? What do you want? <laughs> Judgment. You judge yourself first, and you look through yourself and your life. And you decided you wanted to be a little bit of the all. Everything. And now you're rising like the phoenix, divine masculine. Beautiful energy. Wonderful peace while vibrant. And what a way to begin this season of rest and peace and rejuvenation as we all ready ourselves by going over the last year. You know, we got a new year coming up soon. Uh, going within ourselves and our home and, you know, looking for things that, you know, we can uh, tweak on ourselves, that we can look at ourselves and see if we can grow anymore, see how much more we can grow. We could always use more love and compassion, understanding, and allowing divine timing to bring out the things in life that we're desiring, to be patient and kind and gentle. And this right here, Divine Masculine, looks like exactly what you are doing. And I couldn't be more proud of what your own mother. Your own, your own mother is beautiful. Kind of an energy one can rest in. Oh my gosh. Two mirrors, two hearts, the lovers. For some reason, this makes me think two ugly ducklings, or who thought they were ugly ducklings, met together and come to find out they were actually two beautiful swans swimming in the wrong pond. Oh well. Now they know. So whoever you are out there and you feel like you're turning into this gorgeous swan right now, just know you were all wrong. You were just in a duck pond and didn't know. <laughs> happy love, happy days, happy peace. You guys have a wonderful uh, week ahead to the weekend and um, keep your head high keep your energy nice work on yourself keep your energy fine make yourself lighthearted. yeah you can do it yes you can do it now I come up out of the pit I understand but you can change it you can alchemize you are the magician remember you're the magician switch it up change it around Feel your way through it. Don't think. Feel. I love you. God bless. Bye-bye.